And a major milestone for those who are willing to give the gift of life. But first, it's a condition that can cause sudden death, and that's why doctors around the world want to know more about it. News 8 health reporter Jocelyn Momenta joins us to explain how you can help. Sonia and Darren, hundreds of people are diagnosed with an irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia. Now there is an international study underway that could help determine the best way to treat a specific one. I'm talking about atrial fibrillation, and I found out there's only one site in Connecticut where you can sign up for it. Chuck Lee was taking medication for atrial fibrillation, an abnormal heart rhythm. I was wearing a monitor that showed that I was beating at a rate, system, resting at maybe over 100 beats a minute. But the drugs were just not effective. Well, just that it really wasn't working. Uh, it wasn't keeping me into regular rhythm or sinus rhythm, so um, that was the biggest problem with it. And the long-term effects I wasn't sure of, but I didn't want to take a chance. So Chuck opted for catheter ablation here at Hartford Hospital, in which doctors use a heat pulse to destroy abnormal heart tissues so the heart can maintain a normal heart rhythm. Because the truth is, we don't know which is best for patients. To determine what is best for patients, an international study, the Cabana study, weighs the use of medication against ablation. Cardiologist Dr. Christopher Klein is the lead investigator here at Hartford Hospital, the only site in Connecticut. He says the drugs often do not work and ablation has its own risks. Participants in the study will be randomized to undergo one of the two treatments. Which arm does better? Who lives longer, who has less symptoms, less stroke, less medication, less hospitalizations, and ultimately who has less atrial fibrillation. So we'll know how to approach patients when they come to see us. Patients will be monitored for at least two years. For Chuck Lee, ablation was the right decision. Um, you know, I can exercise, I can work out in the yard, do whatever really I want to do, you know. So, so life is good. Oh yeah, it's like I've never had a problem really. Patients who have not committed to either treatment could be considered for the study as well as some people on certain medications. For more information on the Cabana study at Hartford Hospital, call 860-545-1506 or log on to our website, WTNH.com.